June 7th, police observed a vehicle that was having difficulty maintaining its lane in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Initially, the driver didn't immediately pull over, and the officer had to activate both lights and sirens before he stopped. When the officer approached the vehicle, the 50-year-old man was identified as Lenny Leroy Gums. Hello there. Uh, I'm Officer Sigmund with the police department. Are you the registered owner of the truck, sir? Yeah. Okay. The reason I'm stopping you for a couple of reasons. Looks like we're having a what all. Uh, looks like we're having some trouble keeping in our lane. Is there something going on? Like, oh no, brand no. new truck. I I'm just getting used to it. So. Brand new truck. When did you get it? Uh, about a week ago. Okay. Just for Oh, Okay. I got gotcha. you. Um, second reason. Um, the registered owner of the truck is coming back revoked. So do you know that you're revoked? Okay. I got gotcha. you. All right. Uh, do you have a license on you? Or some sort of ID on you. No, I don't. It's in the house. In the house? Yeah. Okay. But you said you are the registered owner? Yeah. Okay. While he was talking with Lenny, he could smell a strong odor of alcohol. I just moved there uh, last week, so. Okay. And I haven't been there, so. Okay. How much have we had to drink today, Lenny? Huh? How much have we had to drink today? A little bit. How much is a little bit? I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Just sit sit tight for me, Lenny, okay? Do you, do you have insurance on the truck yet? Uh, uh, I, I don't know if it's through yet or not. I'm not sure. Okay. Who, who is it through? Who's your uh, company? Uh, uh, American Family. American Family? Okay. Yeah. All right. Just sit tight, Lenny, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Would you be able to hop out for me? Yeah. We'll go right up here. Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Right. You don't have any weapons on you or anything like that? Okay. I just have you keep your hands on no, your boxes for me. All right. Well, well, I, have you. I understand what's going on. Okay. I got you. I'll have I, you. I'm not stupid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I never said you were or anything, but I'll have you hop up there. I'm going to shut my lights off. Are you willing to participate in any standardized field sobriety test just to see well, if you're... All you'll do is uh, give me a breathalyzer, and I won't pass that after that, so... Okay, well, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to... I'll cut through the bull. You. I know I won't pass the breathalyzer. I mean, Christ, if you have two beers, you're over to them. Okay. Do you feel like you're drunk right now? No. No? No. Okay. Are you drinking while you're driving? Is that what that is? Huh? Is that open can that's sitting there because you're drinking while you're driving there? Oh, uh, no. The open can is because I know I have two warrants off for my arrest. And uh, I don't give a because I can't stand Juneau County. And uh, no, this is all <laughs> plan, brother, let me tell you. What's all plan? This whole, whole ordeal right now. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I just thought, no, they, I uh, I went to treatment. I tried doing all I could do. and I couldn't. I, I can't stop because my arm got shattered. Uh, and I won't take the pain pills because all my boys uh, keep dying from uh, heroin. Yeah, you know, and I'm, I'm not, I, I won't do that kind of crap, you know. Yeah, so the alcohol is just like kill the pain instead yeah. of everything. Yeah, I know, but people don't understand that, so. And you know what, that's fine, and now I get another DUI. I have to kill my pain in jail now, probably in prison. The officer asked him to take a preliminary breath and field sobriety test, but he refused. Right. Right. So you said you don't, you don't want to go through the test at all, just to see where you're at, just to be sure? Well, well, you want me to do the test? Then what are you going to do after the test? Okay, it, it, it's up to you. I mean, yeah, but you'll still give me a breathalyzer after it, right? No, my back is too tore up. I'm, I have a back spasm. I have an arm that's shattered. I mean, it's not going to. I'm not going to pass your test. So, yeah, here you go. Right. Here. You got it. Yep, here. I mean, I, I can do ones where you're sitting Lenny down. told the officer he had been drinking vodka all day and that he was driving around drunk on purpose to get pulled over for his warrants. Do I not have warrants out for my arrest right now? I actually don't know. I, oh, I don't know that. I yet. think I do, so Did why don't you check? Right? Yeah, why don't you check? Yeah, I don't know, but yeah. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a warrant out for my yeah. arrest because of. Uh, yeah. oh, 70, when he is advising, he's got a couple 99s. Would you be able to confirm those, please? Yeah. I know it's part of the habit. No, I'm not. Hey, I don't blame you, man. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I mean, you got me. Oh, my God. Another DUI. I'm so. Have you had a couple before? A couple, yeah. I had two in the last uh, year, okay. and this will be number three. Try to uh, 
So this pushed me to a felony charge, I'm guessing. I don't care, man. I went to prison. My brother sent me to prison when I was 23 years old. I could give a f about any of this shit. According to records, an arrest warrant for Lenny was issued November 30th, 2020 for a drunk driving case. He has three other drunk driving convictions in Minnesota dating back to 2005. They're like this in this town. You know, this town makes me sick. I lost nine brothers last year because of heroin, and I lost eight already this year because of heroin and drugs. I don't do drugs anymore, man. I, you know... Yeah, that was my thing back in the 1990s and 80s, but you know what? I don't do that anymore. But I have to, I drink because because I got my yeah, never mind. Doesn't matter. I don't really care. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, um, are you yeah, to um, participate in field sobriety test for officer? Uh, sure. What do you here? want me to do, sir? No, I can't, man. My back hurts so much. You, you can What's do seated it? ones. I can. I can do standing. ones where you can sit down too. Well, what would happen if I passed this field sobriety test? I mean, if you if we don't if we don't believe that you're yeah, if we don't believe that you're impaired, we'll take the necessary steps that we got to do after that. Well, you already know I'm semi impaired, so just just you think you guys, you guys don't want to take me to jail. I'm here. giving you the opportunity. Yeah, oh, well, thank you, sir. Um, yeah, I just I can try doing something. What okay. do you want the AB thing, ABC thing? Not necessarily, not right now. So I got to get some other paperwork then if we're going to do the seated ones. Just because they're, they're oh, um, I don't want to do this. I mean, I can, I can, I can stand it. Just I can't walk crap properly because of my left disc in my back. Right. So that's why I think it's most fair to you that we do the seated ones. Yeah, we, just, we just want you to have the yeah. unequal shake, equal opportunity yeah. to do it. So if you prefer to do it where you don't have to walk, are you guys still going to take me to jail? What's that? Are you still going to take me to jail? I've heard about La Crosse County Jail. I've never been there. Gotcha. I, I mean, know, it, I know it, a few. Uh, they said it pretty. It sucks. Is it dirty? I, honestly, I've never been in. I've couldn't, never been yeah, in couldn't really tell you. No. Yeah, like I that, don't so know, yeah. man. Well, I know a bunch of guys. Uh, you know, I've been. I used to run a help run a sober house on the north side, and uh, yeah, those guys. Uh, yeah, they didn't talk too highly of it. You know, <laughs> no, nah, man. Uh, my life has changed a lot in the last since this arm started losing my feeling and everything. I, mm -hmm. I, I get almost given up. You know, but I can't. You know, I'm sorry. You know, okay. God. I got you. Well, no, no, it's not your fault. No. It's on me. Sorry, I'm back. So, are you willing to? Do you want to participate yeah. in the field sobriety test then? Uh, why? What's that? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. All right. There, ignore this. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you able to use your bumper there to, to take a seat on, or we can maybe borrow the set of steps over here? What do you here? want to do, man? What do you want to know the ABCs? Well, I, I, I just, explain it to you. I'll, I'll explain it to you. I just need to find a, yeah, I just need to find a spot where you are comfortable and stable to, to sit down. I'm at. fine right here. Okay. Well, I, I need you to sit down if we're going to do uh, this. So. It's right if you drop the tailgate in your truck and you sit on that. Yeah, that'll yeah, work. work. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Smart man. I like him. Oh. Yeah, sorry, man. You yeah. know. You know, if you guys, you guys should just take me to jail, it'd be easier for you. I mean, like I said, we're giving you an opportunity, right? Well, here. it's not. It doesn't matter. I have warrants up for my arrest. Okay, I haven't looked into that yet. So, but are you gonna do that after we do this? Well, eventually. Well, then, I mean, oh, but, just go do the warrant then. Don't worry about this. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving you yeah, an opportunity. No, <laughs> I already know I'm done. You gotta, you gotta come take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's, let's, no, I'm, just, I'm already. I know we're done. Okay. So you don't want to participate? <laughs> you know, it's not I don't want to, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's feasible for you. Well, I mean, you gotta get your fair shake. Man. Yeah, we're we're giving you an opportunity. Well, no, no fair shake because I don't want to. Your body man. Well, this is this is something totally different as far as the no, if, I, if, if I think that you're in, impaired or anything. My best friend is the district court judge of Kenosha County, uh, and my other best friend is. Is a, uh, mm -hmm. She's the judge too, but she's a federal judge. Mm -hmm. No, I'm serious. Chad Kirkman is, you know, him and I are, you know, I'm, I just, you know, I, I, I know what's coming down. I, I'm not stupid. I know the law, believe me, better than most lawyers. Okay. So if you guys have it all lined up, here we are. Take me to jail. Do you want, again, again, do you want to participate in Would it help me out at all? It, I mean, it's up to you, man. We don't want. Would you know, it help me out at all? What do you mean? Would it help you out at all? Well, it's, well, it's going to help us. It's going to help yeah. us evaluate if you're too intoxicated to drive. What? 
No, but I have a warrant out, so it doesn't matter. But that, that's that's a totally separate issue. Yeah, no, point. it's not. It's the same issue. But what we're it saying, comes right like, back here. So if you were too intoxicated to drive, and if you were no, I'm not too that, intoxicated to drive, but I'm not. No, I'm not going to deal with it. My whole deal is, you know, I already know I'm busted, and I know I that, did. and what am yes, I supposed yeah. to do? Yeah, okay. You know, I mean, sorry, you know. Well, that's fine if you don't well, I got, I got to any, but. I just want to give you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Opportunity to what? Just participate in the field sobriety test is all. So again, you're sure you don't want to? Yeah, no. Uh, so, trust me, uh, the last video I got, uh, yeah, I did the whole thing, uh -huh. and then you know what did? Hmm. Gave me a breathalyzer and said, oh, no, you know what, no, you're... Mm -hmm. so, being being uh, that you don't want to do uh, fields, are you willing to submit to a breathalyzer at all? <laughs> What's that? Are you willing to do a breathalyzer at all, being that you're not willing to do fields, or no? No, I'll do a blood test. You'll do a blood test? You'll do a blood test. Do yeah, no. Okay. Dude, I'm doing a blood test. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay. No, you're blood test. Okay. No, because okay. I'm not okay. doing your game. I got you. Okay. okay. I right. play my own game with right, this thing. All right, why well, don't you have me stand up for me then, okay? <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Okay, okay. okay. and this is going to turn around. Oh, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir. I appreciate it. Thank all you. Which arm is your bad arm? Hold on. One second. Yeah, what's up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look. Come here, sir. What's up? Go okay, in my what, pocket. What do you need, man? I need you to lock my truck up. Oh, yeah, yep, we'll, we'll take care of that for sure. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, and you well, said you got a, which one is your bad arm again? They're both bad. They're both bad. Okay. They might still be yeah, in the truck. I didn't feel, I didn't feel yeah. the pockets when I had you down. I think they're still Go up in there and check. Yep, we'll, we'll get it. No, I'm just, just going to... Go up gonna, in there and check. Yep, we'll, we'll take care of it. I'm just going to get a plastic bag here to put all your stuff in. I don't want to... I don't want you. I don't want your money to get lost or anything. I don't want you to touch my money until I get to the police station. Yeah, no, it's all going right in that bag. Oh, can you go in the, in the vehicle and there's another set of uh, eyeglasses in there? Yep. Sir? Yeah, check up the front there. Sir, sure. is there anything else in the truck that you need for us to grab? Yeah, that bottle of vodka. Uh, I don't <laughs> think we can do that. I don't think we can do that. Good joke, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's worth, worth a shot, right? It's worth a shot. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'm not like I'm giving you guys problems. No, you've been too much. I bet. Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, I'm sorry if it happened. I have a backup plan anyway. My dad's coming. He already knows this is going to happen. I, I, set, I set it up, sort of. Pop right in there for me, please, uh, sir. I can't. Oh, I don't know if I can so do this. Be easier easier it might be easier to put in first. Yeah. Sit down yeah. and no, I don't know. If my, with my arm, I'm, with my arm, I'm afraid I'm going to pop my shoulder. Okay. This is like child shoulder. God damn. Yeah, I know they're not very big. No, what the. Oh, come on. Why do they do this? I know. They're, they're How do they build the... They should buy the back... God. I actually made it to La Crosse County Jail. <laughs> it's just standard procedure. No, it's not. That's against the law. I have a law degree. Trust me. He cannot be in my vehicle. Okay. Unless he has a search warrant, my friend. So you tell him to get the fuck away from my vehicle. Okay, you... You got a fucking search warrant? No, my friend. Do you have one now? No. I'm telling you, you don't. No, I'm a fucking... Dude, I tell you what. I have a law degree. Yeah. No, not a law degree for yours. But I'm serious. You tell him to get away from my vehicle right now. Okay. No. The, no, there's no okay. The, the, no, there's no we are, okay. We are on the search and incident to arrest. No, you cannot. You, you can. Can't. I'm telling you. Okay. Let's go back to 2006. Uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, no, you cannot go in my vehicle without my permission. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not. Okay. I'm an ex. Do you do you have a local address? Do you, do you know what your local address is? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Get him out of my. 
dude. There's nothing in there. And and now, here, you know, do you have, is this all recorded? Yep. Good. Because, uh, I already have a lot of people coming. And now I have a lot, a lot of people get some props coming. Get out of my vehicle because there's nothing in there. I don't sell drugs. I don't do drugs. There's nothing in there. And he, he tears my up, dude. I'm going to piss. Yeah. Yeah, I found a couple cans of beer. They're a big deal. You cannot go in my vehicle. I told you, okay. I already know. Um, you violated my take rights. Take photos of that. No. That, that, that doesn't work like that, you know. Yep. Okay. Wendy, can you hear me back there okay? Okay. So, under Wisconsin's applied consent law, I am required to read this notice to you. You've either no. been... <laughs> I have my tall and tough shoes. I don't think I'll be able to um, mentally compensate it. My memory is so Wendy, I have to read this to you. You can read it. You okay. Know. okay. Under Wisconsin's applied consent law, I am required to read this notice to you. You have either been arrested for an offense that involves driving or operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both, or you were the operator of a vehicle that was involved in an accident that caused the death of great bodily harm to or substantial bodily harm to a person, or you are, or, 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 or you are suspected or you are suspected of driving or being on duty time with respect to a commercial motor vehicle after consuming an intoxicating beverage. This law enforcement agency now wants to test one or more samples of your breath, blood, or urine to determine the concent to determine the concentration of alcohol or drugs in your system. I told you blood. If, if any I told you blood. Okay. Wendy, 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 I have to I have to read this. Stop reading it. I told you pink blood. Take blood. I have to read this, okay? Oh, really? Oh, okay. God. Oh, dude, I didn't know, man. Okay. We gotta read the whole thing. I, I gotta read the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yo, kid, I... No, I understand how that goes. Okay. If, if any test shows... Yeah. If any test shows more alcohol in your system than the law permits while driving, your operating privilege will be suspended. Man, my feet are... If, if you refuse... Okay, if you refuse any... Test that this agency requests your operating privilege. Will, okay, Wendy, I have to finish reading this though, okay? I, I do. I do. Alright, so it's easier if we go butt in, I guess. I know, man. I know. Nope. Yep, watch your head. Yes. There we go. There we go. Got it? Okay. Wait, it's up. It's up. It's up. Yeah, I mean that seatbelt. No. Ah! Arm. You didn't have to put your arm so tight. You lay me up. Take me to the goddamn jail. Okay, I need you to get your foot in. No, just get me to jail. Give me the jail. Why do you need you to put your foot in first? I don't have. You can't move my arm up because it's gonna kill my. Set up. I got. Mother. You mother. Oh, take me to the goddamn. I know you're not doing this on purpose, but you don't realize. Maybe you should sit in these cuffs one time. They're not comfortable, I know, I hear you. Yeah, why? Like, sit in them one time. Okay, are you able to lean more. over a little bit? Sure. So we... Whatever. You might sit in them one more time again. Can we move over a little bit? Because otherwise I can't get this on you. And then we I can't, can't do them. nothing for you. Okay, what on. do you want from me? I need you to move over just <laughs> yeah, unless we go behind. Unless we go behind. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, watch your knee, Wendy. Oh, well, it's, we're, we're, they're here to get, help you get out of the car, so. He's been here and here, so I don't really know which one you're going to get. So.
you know, I, I don't deserve to trust me. I mean, so know. they were just here to help you out because I know we had trouble getting in, so. Oh, it's his hat. The judge agreed to the district attorney's office request for the $2,500 cash bail. Lenny didn't contest the bond and told the judge that he was sorry he got himself in this situation. Lenny Leroy Gums was charged with felony fourth offense drunk driving and felony fourth offense operating with a prohibited alcohol content. However, he could face charges that reach sixth offense drunk driving depending on the other past cases.